With the uncertainty of our presidential election still looming over this nation, many have responded with anger, accusation, worry, or even despair. However, there is one who is at perfect peace regarding the seeming chaos and confusion of this season, our Heavenly Father. He is inviting us to experience this same shalom as we stay connected with Him. And He gives us the privilege of not merely being observers to the unfolding story of our world, but active participants in shaping the future for good. One of the primary ways we can do this is through prayer. The Bible says the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Although this is a true saying, not everyone may feel this way about their own experience with prayer. There are many different types of prayer and many different ways to pray, but which is the most effective? I just want to highlight three important aspects of kingdom prayer. One, prayer should be founded on faith. Hebrews 11.6 says, Without faith, it's impossible to please God, for those that come to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who sincerely seek Him. James 1.6 teaches that we should pray in faith without any doubting, for the one who doubts is like the wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Proper belief should undergird our prayers, belief that God is good, that He hears and responds to our prayers, and that our prayers make a positive difference in the world. 2. Prayer ideally should come from a place of perfect love. When we accept Jesus, we are fully forgiven, accepted, and adopted by God. We are one with love, and nothing can separate us from His love. Therefore, when we pray, we can rest assured that God loves us and favors us and that we don't have to grovel or beg to get a response. Finally, prayer should be in accordance with His will. When Jesus' disciples asked to teach them how to pray, Jesus responded with this prayer, Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He would later demonstrate this in the Garden of Gethsemane when he prayed, Father, not my will, but your will be done. How do we know what God's will is? One easy way is just by asking him. When we know and understand his will, we can begin to pray in alignment with his will. 1 John 5 says, This is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything in accordance to His will, He will hear us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of Him. Bless you to pray in faith, to pray from a place of perfect love, and to pray in accordance with His will. As we do, we will see good things happening in this nation and in the nations of the world.